Our biggest hope for the coming year is that Campsfield Detention Centre doesn't really open. This is the gate through which over 30,000 people were brought over those 25 years. My first day at Campsfield, the place was horrible. It was horrible, smelly, uh, the toilet is not working. I was like confused. And when I look at people I saw in my room, I can see stress and depression and anxiety, mental health in their face. It's effectively a prison. All their belongings are taken away from them. There's barbed wire. They're locked up. They're not charged. They have no idea how long they're going to be there. They might be there for weeks, for months. Some have been there in the past for years. I met some people they were detained for six months, if they're lucky. But average is more. Because this security company, they are making money by keeping detainees in Campsfield. So every opportunity for you to go out, when you get to the court, will be denied. I've been doing a visit to Campsfield House once a month. A lot of people were suffering from health issue in there. If you became here in, uh, in Campsfield, it becomes more difficult for you to see a doctor. The treatment they can only provide is like giving you a paracetamol. That's it. The square block up here was the site of several rooftop protests by detainees with blankets over their shoulders stood on that roof for two days, walking around in a circle in protest. Another form of protest was hunger strikes, two weeks on one occasion. Just imagine what, what it takes to drive someone to go on hunger strike. That place is not suitable for human being. It's not a good place to be. They don't care about the harassment, the abuse, the tormenting part of it, the, 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 the punishment. Campsfield was designed as a prison initially. Now you put detainees there, treating detainees as a criminal. Amnesty International has come out against indefinite detention. The UN has come out against it. We don't believe that immigration detention is the right solution for people. We believe in a community-based model, and we believe that it's a backward step to reopen a detention centre that was closed for good reasons in 2018. The reason why people are committing suicide and attempting suicide inside Campsfield is that they want to go out. It give them more power, they give them more freedom. They can have access to a good lawyer. And it will give them opportunities to look for some evidence to support their claim. But in the detentions, all these things are impossible. The idea of people being locked up just a very short cycle ride away from me is, is just horrific. We're not a country that wants to demonise refugees. We have a coalition called the Coalition to Keep Council Closed and that involves asylum welcome and also other organisations around Oxfordshire, the local communities, political groups, both universities. We want refugees to become part of our community. We want to see more opportunities for refugees to use their skills and contribute to the places they live in. Things could be different. We don't think this is the only option. Please come to our uh, website and sign our petition for humanity's sake. We need to keep this closed. We need it to be closed.